Uh, welcome. Today is the day we're going to be talking about the bipolar and how to build it. Mostly, uh, potentially not to build it. Okay, all the methods work. They're just not efficient. They're complicated. They cost more money than they should. At the end of the, this method, I'm going to show you one way that for sure I've used a ton now and it works really well. And then in phase two of this video, part two, we're going to talk about the Nexium. It's all done. Everything is there. It's running. Stay tuned. Stay with me. Um, we're going to have a blast today. Okay, first method. First method is basically building two mat on top of each other with two controller. Except we're going to do that two coils into each other. So you're going to, the two bobbins right there. And then you're wrapping 95 wraps. And you're going to take that out. You're going to tape it out. And you're going to have four ends to it. <sighs> It sounds like awesome in theory, but in practice, you're using twice as much of everything, right? This is what it looks like on the drawing. So you got a set of coils that will be pointing north one way, and then a set of coils that will be pointing north the other way. Now you got them built together. It's a real bummer to wire this thing. Like it's complicated. So you got one ZKPP2K controlling two wires, one ZKPP2K controlling the other two wire. And when one pulse, you got a north, and then when the other one pulse, you got a south. And they're built together. So you're basically, like I said, putting two mat into one another. Really heavy, really expensive, and very complicated to wire. I really don't like it. Okay, method number two. It's using the 4017IC chip. It's a DECA counter. It's very small. It's really a pain in the butt to sol solder and stuff like that. Um, I love it. It makes like a beautiful bipolar square wave. Um, I run it on two MOSFET. I'm gonna show you the drawing right now. Uh, it's all taped up because um, everything was moving on me and I just needed to keep it nice and solid. But look at that beautiful square wave, like just awesome. And then bipolar, and then it goes from one MOSFET to the next. It's beautiful. I'm gonna make a quick pause here. The IC4017 um, is not, like there's no drawings that I found on the internet that allowed me to do what, what we needed to do. I even reached out to uh, all my circuits. Uh, it's a website, it's a blog. And I got roasted bad, like I was an idiot not knowing how to do that. And then when I asked a bunch of them guys to do it for me, to show me the drawing, all they could do is regurgitate drawings that were on the internet, and none of them worked. Like, it works if you want to drive LEDs, if you want to do a countdown, blah, blah, blah. But for the application we wanted to do, it didn't work. So I ended up reaching out to some really smart people and they helped me out. Oh. Okay, on to <laughs> method number three, using my normally closed, normally open solid state relay. I was determined that I was going to keep using the ZKPP2 and I was going to make a bipolar wave with it. Um, here's a drawing of the... Um, it should have worked. Like, it should have worked. There was one issue, and it's the magic pixies inside those SSR. Um, I had a grown issue. I was creating a short, and it just it wasn't working, which is too bad because it was so elegant. So I got a box of 10 of those. Uh, I'll be using it in mind of my project some of these days, but it would not work. It was so close, so close, and it would have been so simple. On to method number four, using a two-channel PWM. Now, that bad boy, um, I, I knew it was going to work. It had to work. But it's a piece of hunk. Um, it just, it's unstable at best, and it wouldn't, like, yeah. So I made it work. It worked. But like I said, it was unstable. So I decided to switch back to 2ZKPP2 and then mount that in my box. You know, I'm working really hard here to make this as simple as possible. Just wait to see the elegance of the simplicity of this project when we're done with it. But at this point right now, 
uh, I was determined I was going to have to use 2ZK and I mounted everything and it was really nice, it was beautiful, uh, it was simple and I'm going to introduce now the age bridge but before let's talk about this new PWM which I'm still using now. I'm putting a pause on my pause here. Uh, I'm going to comment on my own comment I mean. So I'm working really 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 hard to make this unit as simple to build as possible. This video is not really about that. It's about showing you guys the process that I went through. It's about me sharing with you guys all the steps that I took and all the stuff that I've tried. Um, at the end of this video, you're going to get a taste for a somewhat a simple design. The next video, you're going to really going to see how simple we can build this thing. My goal is still the same. I want to share this knowledge with you guys. I'm having a blast to uh, make it happen. The Patreon and I are freaking laughing our heads off. We're like arguing, we're playing, we're throwing ideas around. They're renaming some of my stuff, like my OOPMF for the I for the I one. I'm working on the TPEMF as I'm making this video. Right now it's the 2nd of March. That's when I'm recording this video. And the Patreon of all the drawing that you see in this and then some um, I want all this information to be out there and I want it to be free and I want to change the world and I want everybody to be part of it healthcare is like insane if we can help ourselves a little bit at home stay away from the hospital uh, man we're gonna make a difference they're gonna look back and say these guys they made it happen so thank you for being there watching this. Now well, let's carry on. It's a bugger to solder the pin on it. They're really, 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 really small. Um, but it works beautifully. It's only got one channel and it's got four different output. The outputs are programmable on the duty cycle only, not the frequency. So mounted everything, inserted everything inside the case and it worked like a dam. Okay. This PWM only has one frequency where you can adjust different duty cycle. So right now we're at frequency one, duty cycle 14% on channel one, and on channel two, you're at 7%. So 14% on channel one, and 7% on channel 2. <clears throat> this is the H bridge. This is a buck converter. Okay. Okay, this is awesome. This is like the best thing ever since sliced bread, my friends. When PWM is high, we have a clockwise out of the output. When direct, when PWM is high and direction is high, we have a counterclockwise coming out of the output. And that's it. So it's really, really, really simple. And then we can control all that with the duty cycle. Anyway, if you have any question, let me know. Patreons. Well, I'm sure you don't have any question. You've been knowing this stuff for quite a while now. So, okay, that was part one of the bipolar uh, system. I think it's a really good start to, uh, it's a really good introduction to our part two coming up with the next unit right away. I am very happy to share this with you guys. Um, the next unit is next. And then after that, we're going to dabble into the TPEMF. We're going to be some updates again on the uh, OOPMF. And also how to use the 47 IC chip to make the decimal point on the frequency. Um, there's still some limitation on that that's just inherent to the technology. Um, at the time of this recording, I haven't made a PCB yet. I'm probably going to do that, and then it's just going to be a plug and play for that part too. Overall, you may be left wanting, and it's on purpose. 
okay? Um, you guys watch this video, you get all pumped up. Two weeks from now, the video on the next one is gonna come out and everything's gonna make more sense anyway. Uh, you're gonna see the beauty in it, the simplicity of it. Uh, come join us on Patreon. You could jump the line basically and get all the information right now if you can't wait any longer. Uh, I'm sure it's all there. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment. And we are changing the world. I'm telling you that right now. We are. Be safe.